Hello, I'm WBZ TV meteorologist Barry Burbank, and I have your forecast coming up for the rest of this day, the weekend, and uh, for the next several days, taking us right on through Thanksgiving. So it looks like we've had a pretty cold November so far after we had the first few days or pretty much on the very warm side, uh, sort of lasting over from a very, very, very warm October. Look at all the consecutive blue squares we've had in here in indicating below average days. In fact, we've had 11 days below average in the Boston area, November 7th through the 17th. We haven't had that many consecutive below average days since way back in 2016 at the end of April. The record going back into 2015, of course, when we had that incredibly cold month of February 2015. You remember that with all that snow and all that cold weather? 27 days in a row of below average temperatures. Well, I don't think we're going to get to 27 days this time around because it looks like we may have temperatures a little bit below average today, but the temperatures are going to be rising. In fact, these high temperatures right around 47 in Boston, 45 in Lawrence, but ranging up to the lower 50s in the Cape will be happening right around sunset today. And the temperatures will continue to inch up during this evening into the lower 50s. And by tomorrow morning, they're going to be in the upper 50s. All this warm air today, which exists from near Philadelphia southwestward, some of that warm air is definitely on its way up as the storm system goes to the west of us and pulls the warm air our way. So you can see ahead of the warm front here, there are showers coming along and also a bank of clouds coming in rather quickly. So we're not going to have sunshine lasting that long today as we look at the future cast here. A lot of that cloud cover certainly will be in place even in Boston by noontime. Mainly cloudy with a little dim sunshine left over in a few spots this afternoon, but without any rain until probably after dark. So we're looking at about 5.30, 47 in Boston, lower 50s in the Cape. And then watch the temperatures. We go to 8 o'clock this evening, the temperature's up to 50 in Boston. And we go overnight, it's up to 52 in Boston by 11 o'clock, 49 in Bedford. Of course, we have the showers coming through this evening, and we'll have them off and on tonight and into tomorrow morning. There'll be more showers tomorrow morning. But look at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's 57 in Boston, 58 in Taunton, almost 60 on Cape Cod. We'll have those temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s tomorrow morning for a while as more showers go by. And then we'll have this passage of the cold front happening oh, right around 11 to 12 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then it's going to cool off after that. So we'll see temperatures tomorrow afternoon falling into the 40s as the sun comes out and some leftover snow showers occur in the northern mountains where it'll be quite a bit colder up there. So we have a wind advisory up because that strong storm to the west will be intensifying and the wind here will be increasing as well. With the strongest wind on the south coast, Cape Cod and the islands, that wind advisory has been issued by the National Weather Service starting today at 10 o'clock this evening and lasting through 5 o'clock tomorrow. That doesn't mean it isn't going to be windy elsewhere. It just means the strongest winds will be down here with some gusts of 50 miles an hour. So if you're going to be traveling for the holiday, getting ready for Thanksgiving on Thursday, this is how it looks across the nation on Monday with some showery weather, snows and rains in the Pacific Northwest, of course, snow in the higher elevations. The rest of the nation looking pretty good with areas of clouds. It'll be another shot of cold air into the northeast on Monday. And then on Tuesday, we start to warm up ahead of this next system. There won't be too much going on in the country until we get into the Pacific Northwest on Tuesday. There'll be some heavier rain there. There'll be some showers on the Gulf Coast and scattered showers and storms in parts of Florida. On Wednesday, which is a big travel day, it looks like it'll be pretty good for traveling across the country. Again, some windy, showery weather in the Pacific Northwest, but most of the rest of the nation governed by high pressure, so that's good news. We'll have almost like a little tropical disturbance coming up off the uh, Atlantic seaboard here, but ahead of this front, we'll get some heavy rain perhaps in New England on Wednesday for people traveling on Wednesday, getting to destinations for Thursday. And it looks like Thursday will have sunny to partly cloudy weather and on the colder side on Thursday. So overall, the outlook for Thanksgiving for this area is a sunny to no more than partly cloudy on Thanksgiving Day with a high of about 40 with a chilly breeze. Here's your forecast for the next seven days. Looking like this as I see it, 47 for high this afternoon around Boston, much of the region. That will be happening at sunset. After that, the temperatures will be rising tonight into the lower 50s during the early evening to the upper 50s by tomorrow morning. That's why we have 58 on the bottom number for tomorrow because that's what you'll find when you head out tomorrow morning, 58 degrees. But when you get the normal high temperature tomorrow afternoon, around 1, 2 o'clock, it'll be back down to 47 again because the temperatures will be falling. Cold start on Monday morning up to 38, sunny with a few clouds. Then warming up, mostly sunny with a few afternoon clouds on Tuesday, 55. Some spells of rain, possibly heavy at times on Wednesday and warm again. 
but then you have the sunshine and back to cold weather for Thanksgiving Day. That's your forecast for now. You can watch WBZ News tonight at 11 o'clock. You can also see it at 8 o'clock, and at 8 o'clock you can turn to MyTV38 to check for the latest news and weather updates. Uh, have a nice weekend.